peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John 14, 27. Hi, I'm Sammy, and your verse of the day is Revelation 1, 17. It reads, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, but he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Hi, I'm Morgan, and your verse of the day is Mark chapter 6, verse 50. It reads, Because they all saw him and were terrified, immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, verse 1. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. 1 John 4, 18. When my anxious inner thoughts become overwhelming, your comfort encourages me. Psalm 94, 19. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or tremble in fear before them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Isaiah 35, 4. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 46, 1. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. Psalm 118, 6 and 7. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Proverbs 12, 25. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Psalm 34, 7. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 6, 34. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. Hello, New Hope. My name is Michael, and today I'd like to read for you guys Psalms 55, 22. And it reads, cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah 3.17 NIV Out of the Amplified Version of the Bible. But now, in spite of the past judgments for Israel's sin, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, ransomed you by paying a price instead of leaving you captive. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. Deuteronomy 3, 22. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. 1 Peter three fourteen. 
Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. Proverbs 29, 25. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. But Jesus overheard them and said to Jairus, Don't be afraid, just have faith. Mark 5, 36. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Good morning, New Hope. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, you worm Jacob, little Israel. Do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah 41, 13 and 14. He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Mark 39, 40. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Luke chapter 12, verse 22 through 26. Psalm 91 was written for the purpose of helping us to understand that no matter what crisis we face or what circumstances we're going through, when we abide in the presence of the Almighty God, we have security. Let me share with you what the author wrote. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty God. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He's my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wing you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and you will see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will, not, you will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. What many don't realize is this is not only a psalm of security and safety, this is a prophetic psalm. In fact, if you were to go to the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness, you will find where a portion of this is fulfilled in the life of Jesus the man, the Son of God.